tees and I'm here ready and done for you. If you want sickening brows like mine, stay tuned and I will give you a step-by-step -step way of how I get to this stunning brow look. So I'm going to teach you how I do my brows. Um, I perform it, so I need to make sure that it stays for the whole show and after for, picture, for pictures. So I make sure that I have them laid as flat as possible. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take a wet wipe and then I'll put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it just to make sure that um, you get all the product that you just use like your skincare, um, your primers off of your brow because if you keep that on there it might just make it lift because of all the product and build up with oils and things. So what I like to do is I like to just clean my brows up. Everyone else uses glue stick and for me it just doesn't work because after three songs in ten songs they make their appearance and nobody invited them. So I like to go in tents, I like to go in. So I like to use the mastics and I like to go all over the brow. I like to use the end of a brush, flat powder brush. So then I just use that to press down. I like to go in, so press that as intense as you can. Even if you feel like your skin is getting full, that is the right way. So now that we have at least one layer down, I like to go in with one more layer of mastics just to seal the deal. So I take a dab and I put it in the same in the beginning of the brow, and then I take a bit and I put it at the end of the brow. So what I do is I like to take that product and spread it all over the brow. And what that is, I kind of make it tacky so that it dries much faster so that it has a long waiting period and also it's always crunch time with the jack there's always a time limit and we we need to push for not being late so it's the less time we can take on something the better so the next step i like to do is go in with some wax so i use a little bit of wax like a pea size of wax and i drag that all over my brow so like that size and I like to put on my brow and I take it and I make sure it's spread because this basically just fills in all the gaps of your hair smooth-esque finish and also I am not determined to cut off my brows not at all I'll probably look like an alien if I must walk around every single day with no brows I believe in aliens but I'm not one so definitely not happening now that we have that done, last time with the mastics. We can make an ASMR video, so come closer. <laughs> Just kidding. So now we take the same technique, a dab in the beginning, a dab that side, and then on the top. Move and spread that over so it's nice and even. And you can kind of feel how tacky it begins to get. Now I like to use a little bit of the Catrice Nude Illusions Powder just to set that in place so that it doesn't move and I like to go in and press it because you need to get that as flat as possible and that's why they call it beating that mug because literally you are probably black and blue when you take your makeup off at the end of the evening now that I feel like that is kind of in place I like to use a brush just to get all of that off I think we have the brows covered. Um, the next step will go into foundation. And then do go over your brows because obviously it had now liquids over. Now that you have the powder, now you're gonna just seal it and press everything back down and lay it flat so that they are laying and having a nice nap until you are done with all this makeup so now i have my foundation on i have my powder setting everything is done so now we're gonna move over to my brows so my brows are quite a struggle bus for me because i'm an each i have a each big issue with symmetry so i always used to find ways and and, and and tricks to kind of counteract that because 
my one eyebrow will be sickening and my other eyebrow will say I'm not going out tonight. How to counteract that? I've realized that whenever I get a palette, you always get a little foam over the shadows that protects the shadows. So what I do is I make a stencil. And this is perfect because it's the shape of my face. And then I actually just use a shadow, an eyeshadow or dark from dark contouring palette. And then I just use a fluffy brush and then just fill in the stencil. So I'm using the energy palette. So that's the daily dose of energy. So I'm going to use the shade right here at the bottom, which is this nice little dark brown. And I'm just going to use it just to create the ends of the brow and then I'll use a lighter shade of shadow closer to the inside of the brow. So I'm going to use a contouring palette from Essence that we used earlier for the cheek and I'm going to use a darker shade just to bring in the center. Cool, so I'm going to place this right on my brow. So I kind of can see like where I want it to be. So I'm going to hold both sides down. Make sure you have it flat so that there is no shadow that's going to leak anywhere and you won't be able to see. So, so find what you need to and then just go in. So I like to go in with that dark shadow and then just bring that all the way to there. Cool, if that is it, is she it? She's kind of it. Because we can always clean it up. That is just to get that arch at the right place. So now that we have that, I'm going to go in with a concealer and then just cut that eyebrow. So what this is, is basically just a guide. Just a guide so that they can at least be sisters and not neighbors. We love sisters, not neighbors. Because ish, they always come out neighbors. I like to make sure I like a fluffier top brow and a more clean bottom brow rather than clean on top and clean at the bottom. For me, that just looks like it's stamped on. So I like to at least give some sort of illusion of it actually being here and it not being here. So you do exactly the same on the other side. Like I said, start with your weakest eye first and then move over to your eye that you are good at doing, which is this side is always good for me to do because this is my right hand. So moving over to this side is more difficult for me. So start this side because it's easier to make that side prettier than to make this side prettier. Now that we kind of have that done, now we're going to go in with the gel. So I have two shades here. This is blonde, this is number two, and this is brown, this is number one. So I'm going to go in with blonde first and see how she works with this brow. So I'm going to go in with this nice thin little brush, angle brush. But I'm starting with a good side. So, this is a recipe for disaster. But let's continue. Let's continue. It's my struggle bus. It's my struggle bus. And it's the one thing that kind of kills the look completely. If your brows is like the frame of your face, just like your contouring is the frame of your face. So, if your brows are not cute, then it's a recipe for disaster. So, work more on your brow. Because eyeshadow is easy. You're just going to go and then you're out the door but make sure that your brow is sickening because that's what everyone is going to look at most of the time then we're going to go in with a darker shade just at the ends just so that you make sure that they are nice and ombre i would even go in with a black at the end just to take that in up to the another dimension Oh no, they are definitely cousins, not sisters, but cousins. But we can do with a cousin. And I like to let it go. Because what I also do is I like to take the tape, duct tape, and I like to tape my head so that I pull all this up. You see how that goes? Snatch. That's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to go into my eyeshadow, but keep watching because this is going to be in another episode. So please keep tuned because you don't want to miss this.
Okay, now that we have the blush on, I would like to go back to the eyebrows and then just define that brow a little bit more. So, I like to take the black eyeshadow called Soul and I like to take it and then just define that brow a little bit more. Because like I said, if the brow is right, your face is tight, you understand? And then do the same on the other side. Then, we take that pencil, the, the, the liquid pen again, the easy brush liner from Essence and then just at the end, you're gonna get that. And this is a complete look. How do y'all like this? It, it came out quite sick to me, if I must say so myself. So if you like this look, please follow all the steps of how I got from skincare right through to powdered sickness. And don't forget to follow, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as to click the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a video. And all the products will be in the description box below and also you can find all these products at your local disc game as well as clicks. So mwah, and enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe and always sanitize. She is coming for my gig. She is definitely coming for my gig and she wants to be a part of this video. Can we please ask her to come sit next to me and help me with this makeup? Because clearly she wants to be here. Stop that.